Yakov Iosifovich Tsugashvili was the eldest of Joseph Stalin's three children, the son of Stalin's first wife, Katos Vanids. His younger half-siblings were Svetlana Alilueva and Vasily Tsugashvili. He served in the Red Army during the Second World War, and was captured, or surrendered, in the initial stages of the German invasion of the Soviet Union. While there has been dispute over the circumstances of his death, historians currently believe that he died in Sachsenhausen concentration camp. Early life, Yakov was born in the village of Baji, in the Kutaisi Governorate, then part of Imperial Russia. His mother died of typhus when he was less than a year old. Until the age of 14, Yakov was raised by his aunts and grandmother in Tiflis. In 1921, Yakov a Euro unregistered trademark s uncle Alexander Svanids urged him to leave for Moscow to acquire a higher education. Yakov only spoke Georgian. So, after his arrival in Moscow, he commenced with learning the Russian language, aiming to apply for university studies. Yakov and his father Stalin never got along. Allegedly once Stalin referred to Yakov as a mere cobbler. Later, according to Yakov's stepmother Nadezhda Alilueva, she saw a young girl running away from their Moscow dacha in tears. When she entered, she saw a despairing Yakov looking near faint in the room. He ran immediately to his bedroom. It turned out that the girl was Yakov's Jewish Fianca copyrightee. When they told Stalin of their engagement, he became enraged. While Stalin and his wife were arguing about this, a shot was heard from Yakov's room. Yakov had shot himself but survived. While she tended to his wounds and sent for a doctor, all his father said was, he can't even shoot straight. Marriage and family, Tsugashvili married Yulia Meltzer, a well-known Jewish dancer from Odessa. After meeting Yulia at a reception, Yakov fought with her second husband, NKVD officer Nikolai Bisarab, and arranged her divorce. Yakov became her third husband and was survived by two children. His son, Yevany, gave many interviews about his grandfather. He also had a daughter, Galina, who died in 2007. Second World War, Tsugashvili served as an artillery officer in the Red Army and was captured on July 16, 1941 in the early stages of the German invasion of USSR at the Battle of Smolensk. The Germans later offered to exchange Yakov for Friedrich Paulus, the German field marshal captured by the Soviets after the Battle of Stalingrad. But Stalin turned the offer down, allegedly saying, I will not trade a marshal for a lieutenant. According to some sources, there was another proposition as well, that Hitler wanted to exchange Yakov for Hitler's nephew Leo Robel. This proposition was not accepted either. While Soviet propaganda always asserted that Tsugashvili was captured, Stalina Euro unregistered trademark S daughter, Svetlana Alilueva, wrote in her memoirs that her father believed his son deliberately surrendered to the Germans after being encouraged to do so by his wife. Stalin, she wrote, had Yulia imprisoned and interrogated as a result. In February 2013 Der Spiegel printed evidence that it interpreted as indicating that Yakov surrendered. A letter written by Tsugashvili's brigade commissar to the Red Army a Euro unregistered trademark as political director, quoted by Der Spiegel, states that after Tsugashvili's battery had been bombed by the Germans, he and another soldier initially put on civilian clothing and escaped, but then at some point Tsugashvili stayed behind, saying that he wanted to stay and rest. Until recently, it was not clear when and how he died. According to the official German account, Tsugashvili died by running into an electric fence in the Sachsenhausen concentration camp, where he was being held. Some have contended that Yakov committed suicide at the camp, while others have suggested that he was murdered. Currently, declassified files show that Tsugashvili was shot by a guard for refusing to obey orders. While Tsugashvili was walking around the camp he was ordered back to the barracks under the threat of being shot. Tsugashvili refused and shouted, shoot. The guard shot him in the head. Either way, this was seen by Stalin as a more honorable death and Stalin's attitude towards his son softened slightly. After the war, British officers in charge of captured German archives came upon the papers depicting Tsugashvili Euro unregistered trademark S death at Sachsenhausen. 
the German records indicated that he was shot while attempting to flee after an argument with fellow British prisoners. The British Foreign Office considered briefly to present these papers to Stalin at the Potsdam Conference as a gesture of condolence. They scrapped the idea because neither the British nor the Americans had informed the Soviets that they had captured key German archives. Sharing those papers with Stalin would have prompted the Soviets to inquire about the source of these records. References External links, Rising Scions of the Soviet Past, revealed, How Stalin's Brutal Massacre at Katyn Shamed His Pal Son Into Suicide, Documents Shed Light on Stalin's Son's Fate.